this is the Inbox Lego Collector channel. I am the Inbox Collector. Another huge sale over here in the UK at, again, Sainsbury's Supermarket. If anyone ever tells you, do not go look in your supermarket. Do not go Lego hunting. Um, they are absolutely out of their minds because there were some fantastic deals. But sadly for me, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was stuck in work on a shift, had to wait for it to end. We're seeing all these awesome posts from people that were basically getting huge like Lego hauls, if you like, of some really great sets. And so by the time I got home, jumped in the car, took my little seven year old son, Alfie, my sidekick with me because he is really getting in to go in and searching for Lego sets. And he's really getting involved, which is absolutely awesome. We went to the local Sainsbury's to find the shelves were barren. Of course they were. It was too late in the evening. You need to get to these places early in the morning. However, the stubs were there showing us all the prices of all the Lego we had missed out on. Um, we thought all hope was lost. Then we found an assistant, a Sainsbury's assistant, and asked if she could look out the back, see if there was any sets. She was busy, but my son, he charmed her by telling her hair was lovely. She decided to go have a look, came back with a TIE fighter um, for thirty nine ninety nine. That's all she had out the back, um, a poultry offering. I said, Miss, you've insulted me. Of course I didn't. I um, basically walked off, disappointed, about to give up. And then I remembered Argos. Argos are in Sainsbury's, owned by Sainsbury's. Let's go see if they've got any sets and let's see if they'll price match. Because there was a big article out when they both banded together and become under one that prices were different in Sainsbury's to Argos. So they promised to price match either way. So long as that Argos is in Sainsbury's, they will price match. So we went there, we asked for a price match. Um, and unfortunately, we could only get one of each set. They didn't have any in the Argos, but they were happy to order them in for us. And so we hit the jackpot. We scored at least, I say jackpot, we scored some Lego for half price and better, which is really good. However, when we were walking out, my son, the little sidekick, this is why he's good. He is always on the, he's always on the scrounge. He's, he's a typical seven year old. He did manage to get some toys out of me as well this is why he comes really it's not because he really wants to lego hunt he just knows i'm soft but anyway he did spot an end sort of plinth with lego in which meant we were able to grab whatever was left in there so this is my lego haul in this video today we did miss out on a lovely disney set set 43221 um this is one of those lovely sort of war art where you can do all the artwork 1022 pieces that went from 49.99 down to just 15 pounds can you believe that or 18 dollars if you're in the states what a fantastic price this is why i disagree with the rule of waiting for sets to be in retirement before you buy if a set is that cheap i'm buying it i don't care i don't care if it has to sit here for two years if i can get it that cheap i am buying it forgetting about it and i'm happy days so let's take a look at what i did manage to get in this um, sainsbury's sale set so seven six two five three that's this nice little double pack with groot and of course star lord this is the guardians of the galaxy headquarters a nice little set 67 pieces so it's got a nice little build as well there's a few stickers in here when you think a minifigure is three pound fifty a blind box um, and this one here having an extra figure in it and the, of course the exclusive group with a little build for an extra pound or if you're in the states five dollars 46 cents it was a no-brainer for me you could easily double your money on this in retirement and get the recommended retail price um, i managed to get 10 in total you can tell this is the argos one it's got the sticker on it but they're all in excellent condition um, and we managed to grab all of these um, so i'm pretty happy with that Next is 76254. This is Guardians of the Galaxy Baby Rocket Ship. 330 pieces released in April of 2023. All um, the minifigures in this are unique. You get a little um, rocket and a baby rocket. Recommended retail price of $29.99. I paid just £15 or $18 if you're in the States. I think this is great. It's not on the retirement list yet. I think it's probably got another six months, seven months to go. That's the estimate. Um, but this is a great little set. I managed to scoop uh, in total three of these bad boys. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think it's a very good deal. I think it will do pretty good in retirement. 
Yes, um, I have to hand it to my young Padawan. Spotting that plinth at the end was pretty awesome. Next, we've got set 76411. Of course, Ravenclaw banner. Recommended retail price of $29.99. I paid just 15. Got three unique minifigures, 305 pieces. Um, so £15 or $18. This is an Argos one. Um, she ordered in for us. So I'm happy with that. Um, I would have loved to have got more banners. They did have all of the banners on, but it depended if your store stopped that banner. So at the Sainsbury's I was at, they only had Ravenclaw. I do know some of the other stores had Slytherin. Um, but again, £15. This came out in March of 2023 and is due to retire this year. So pretty happy. That's the first banner that I've picked up. Hopefully I'll pick up more. Um, whether they'll go as low as that, I don't know, leading up towards Black Friday. Hopefully they will. But yeah, not a bad find. Next, it's 75324. This is the Lego Dark Trooper Attack um, set. This has got a recommended price of $29.99. Now, this is on the retirement list. And of course, I paid just £15 or $18 if you're in the States. Very happy with this. I've been picking these up for a little while now, just when they've been on sale, usually around the £22 mark. So to get one for 15 is really great. I wish I could have got more because I think these will go well with the dioramas. I think these will do extremely well in retirement. Um, but hey, it's better than a kick in the teeth. I may have only got one, but I'm very happy with the one that I've got. And last but not least, definitely the best pickup. This one was also um, ordered in to Argos, but they had these on the shelves at Sainsbury's for, yes, £9 or $10.92 if you're in the States. This has a recommended retail price of $29.99. Usually over here in the UK, you can pick these up for around £23, but £9 is absolutely insane. I would have loved to have got more. Let me know in the comments if you did. If you're over in the UK and you managed to snag some of these at your Sainsbury's. We've got the exclusive Tamwi, exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi, an exclusive droid. But Tamwi's the figure we all think is going to really do make this set do well in retirement. I've been picking up a couple, uh, probably a month, a couple a month. Just stocking up on these because I think this set would do very well. Yeah, so there you are. Let me know in the comments what you think of my little mini haul. Um, did I do okay? I think I did very well. Um, if you had really good deals at your sayings, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this content, please hit that like. Please hit subscribe and turn on notifications. I will be back next week with another video. This time I'm going to do the Marvel retirement list. And I'm going to give you my best picks from that list. Um, until then, guys, thanks for watching and good luck searching for that Lego gold.